Yes, and we're doing set the ID of an element today. If you want to follow along, link will be down in the description below. Let's begin. In addition to classes, each HTML element can also have an ID attribute. There are several benefits to using ID attributes. You can use an ID to style a single element and later you'll learn that you can use them to select and modify specific elements with JavaScript. ID attributes should be unique. Browsers won't enforce this, but it is a widely agreed upon best practice. So please don't give more than one element the same ID attribute. Here's an example of how you give your H2 element the ID of cat photo app. H2 ID equals cat photo app inside of brackets and quotation. Give your form element the ID cat photo form. Objective, your form element should have the ID of cat photo form. So let's look at the form element. We're scrolling through, scrolling through, and we have found it here, specifically. And what we're gonna have to do is create an ID attribute. So right here next to uh, form, we're gonna type in ID equals, and you put the quotation mark, and we're gonna put cat dash photo dash form. And that should be it for the ID for cat photo form on the form element. So this is the, uh, the form element there. And cat photo form. So the code should look like, I am tinkering around with the magnification from Microsoft Windows, Windows 10. So you can see the code on the top of the screen a little bit better. So now we're going to run the test to verify if this objective was completed. And this check mark indicates that you did pass. And there's always a funny quote. This one is to the Batmobile. Let's take off. Let's go to the Batcave, then jump in the Batmobile, fly out the waterfall, all that stuff. If you wanted to learn more, which you don't have to, you can continue. But if you hit the submit form, you go to the next challenge. Don't forget to save your progress. I do typically like to go to the help and click get a hint because I want to make sure that I'm doing it the right way because I am learning as well as showing these videos. So here we have set the ID of an element and we have the solution to the form, which again, you have here the ID. And basically what they did was they did it after the action. So here, how we have it in, in front of the action, we're going to just control X to cut it and then space control V to paste it. And basically they want it to be the last thing uh, before the bracket ends the form um, opening bracket or whatever. So that's one thing that you could change to make a little bit uh, more syntactically correct or grammatically correct however, however they say it. So run the test. We have it. Again, congratulations for 32% of the way complete and I will take us to the outro. And I typically I have like this outro script which I guess everybody gets to see now. Maybe I can just click here and you won't see it. 
Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button if you want to see more content like this and subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I am Finimus and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.